night, a DeSoto family is mourning the loss of a husband, father, and a retired deputy constable. Jeffrey Hopkins died over the weekend of complications from COVID-19. Hopkins' wife tells NBC5 Sophia Beausoleil, no one should let their guard down. Behind this smoker. Everybody knows him, knows him for his barbecue, and they love his barbecue. <laughs> At least once a month, you could find Jeffrey Hopkins cooking up a storm in DeSoto. He'll put like 19, 20 slabs of ribs on the grill at one time. The husband and father enjoyed the grill, but it was Hopkins' career as a public servant that helped put the bacon on the table. For 28 years, he worked as a Dallas County deputy constable and retired in 2011. And if you were feeling down and wanted to laugh, all you had to do is talk to Hopkins. He was always upbeat, always smiling. But the laughter and good times that surrounded Hopkins came to an end over the weekend. I don't want nobody to go through what I've been going through for the last three weeks. This was devastating for me. Pamela, his wife of almost 40 years, come next August, says last month she became sick. I had the virus first, but I, I didn't I didn't know I had the virus. I thought I just had a cold. She tested positive for COVID-19. Her husband did too. But days later, he couldn't walk, so she called 911. After four, five, four days of being in the hospital, I get a call from the doctor saying that uh, he had died and they had to resuscitate him. Hopkins, who was diabetic, would remain on a ventilator for 13 days. But the 66-year-old died on Saturday of complications from the coronavirus. It was, it was hard to take. It was hard to hear and still hard to believe. He was always making you laugh. And I'm just going to miss him so much. Pam is not allowing her husband's death to be in vain, but rather a cautionary tale. And had I checked my temperature that day, I probably could have probably could have prevented a lot of this. She's reminding people to monitor symptoms, wear masks, and stay vigilant so they don't have to go through the pain she's experiencing. He always said, you don't meet him and forget him. So if you ever met him, you'll never forget it. In Dallas County, Sophia Beausoleil, NBC5.